What is up everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to The Hunter Call of the Wild. And today we're out here on Medved Taiga for a change. And I thought it would be a good idea to continue to show y'all some of the changes that the weapon pack update brought. Most of these, like I said, y'all are already aware of, but I just felt like I'd reiterate it for those who have not heard. So what we're gonna be covering in this video is the Moose, which had a little bit of an overhaul uh, in terms of their models. And I'm sure you can already start to see the differences from here in terms of the texture. Um, but let's go on ahead and take a crack at this guy. Just like that. It's a pretty large moose there. Um, I did have a piebald on my map at some point. I don't know where it is. I had its track somewhere in this area. She might be over there at that. Like, it was just a female, but we'll see if she's on, here, on this map now. Um, I'm not sure she will be. Hopefully she will, because the piebalds look absolutely amazing after the new update. So basically what they changed was a little bit of the facial structure, um, the nose, that was a big change. Just some of the cosmetics, I guess you could say. Um, they changed the fur. Uh, it has texture to it now, because the moose beforehand used to look very smooth. And here in a minute, um, after we check out this little area over here, I have a uh, old clip of a piebald moose that I shot right after the Revan Thule update. And you can see a huge, huge difference. And then we'll also go and check out a few of them in the lodge just to see how they look. But let's take a look at this guy. And as you can see, I mean, look at them. They're furry now. Like, they're fuzzy. Like, they actually have hair. And I think this is a great thing. Um, also, you can see the face is very different. A little bit more of a moose nose, um, not the same kind of rounded deer nose that they used to have, kind of like a white tail did. Um, but very good changes, and I will say this leads me to believe that the next great one will be a moose. Okay, look at that face change; it really does look kind of good. I mean, I don't know. I think it—I've never really been, seen a lot of moose in real life. I've only ever seen one, and it was a long way away. Um, but I think this looks pretty good. I think it looks a lot better than what we used to have. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's go over here and see if this other moose is over here. Oh, and as I was saying earlier, the model changes to the moose make me start to think that moose will be likely the next great one. And I say this because right before becoming a great one, the Black Bears had a little bit of an upgrade. They got a model change when Mississippi came out. Um, the Red Deer, before their great one came out, they had like their neck fluff added. So a lot of model changes seem to happen to animals that are going to become great ones. So if I had to bet, Moose will more than likely be the next great one, especially because so many people wanted it to be the next great one um, after Revan Thule came out that... I wouldn't be surprised if EW decides to put it out as the next one. Alright, so she's not at this lake here, which makes me think either she's at this lake or she's gone. So, we will go on ahead though and take one of these cows. I think we'll take this one right here in the front. She looks pretty dark. I don't think she's a Mela, but we'll go on ahead and take her down. Just Gonna put two shots in her, bring her down just a little quicker. All right, and here's this cow. Let's just take a quick look and a dark brown fur type. But then again, as you can see, the fluffier textures on the moose, the change in the facial features, I think it was a really good thing that they did. Um, but yeah, let's go on ahead and see if this uh, piebald cow is down at this lake. And if not, then no big deal we'll go take a look at some in the lodge all right guys well i have no idea what happened to that piebald moose um which is a bit unfortunate i would have loved to have seen one uh here on the uh on the new harvest screens and everything but regardless let's go on ahead and hop to the trophy lodge but before uh, we go on ahead in here why don't y'all go ahead and take a look at this piebald moose i shot back in i think it was july Alright, so here is the clip of a piebald moose that I found not long after the Revan Thule update, 
And as you can see, they look so much shinier. Okay, I think that's the best possible way to describe it. They look a whole lot shinier. And here in just a minute, you'll see that much more, how do I want to put it, bulbous, almost like a rounded kind of nose, like a deer, like a whitetail would have. So just very different. I think the changes made were well needed. And let's go on ahead and take a look at a piebald moose that I have in the Trophy Lodge. The differences are amazing. Alright guys, and we are now in the Trophy Lodge, and as you can see, you can see the changes to the moose. Like I said, not real shiny, different looking nose, different looking face, a little more furry. You see, big difference, big, big difference. But the main thing I want to take a look at is the piebald moose that we have back here. Um, I do have some albino and melanistic females in another lodge. But for now, these are the ones I really want to take a look at. Look at this piebald moose. Look at how good it looks. Like This looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'd love to find another one. And then here's the mocha moose from Tiawaroa. It looks really good as well. I mean, that one looks really, really good. So, I mean, it's really, really good what they did to these moose. I think it was a great thing, something that we definitely needed. Um, and I can't wait to see what animals they continue to add these changes to over time. So with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and uh, helps me continue to make videos for all of y'all to enjoy. So hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.